Lewinsky. And I'm Don Black. And we are here live at the world premiere of Captain America, the first Avenger. It's true, we are. We are on the red carpet, or should I say the red and white carpet with a blue background. Because it is Captain America live at the El Capitan Theater in Hollywood. Thanks for joining us and watching Marvel Live at Marvel.com. Mm -hmm. We're going to bring all the action of this premiere right to your desktop. We absolutely are. Because Marvel, it's your universe. Thor was a pretty big deal, yes. and that's a huge, a huge piece of the Marvel universe. Yes. Um, it seems like all of you guys, like once you you work in these projects, you kind of like support each other. Yeah. It's, it's part of this sort of like Marvel family. Would, mm -hmm. Could you talk about that a little bit? You know, I, I definitely say there's that feeling of, of Marvel, Marvel, the Marvel family, as it were, kind of like Adam's family. Yeah. Um, but uh, but yeah, we do. We stick up for each other. We support each other. And and you know, a lot of these movies were, are going to be combined as like in the Avengers and such. So yeah, it's it's awesome. It's like it's like rooting for a team member when we come out and support yeah. each other. Do you have any like good fan stories that you can share with us? Oh my gosh, um, actually, all great people. They've all come up to me and, and just I was just signing autographs over there a second ago and. Everybody's just so gracious and so excited, and they follow you. They, you know, they really start to follow everything you do, like oh. your career and stuff. And it's awesome. It's like it's like this bonus support system on the sidelines. Natalie, 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 Live. What was it like working with young actors like Chris Evans, Haley Atwell, Sebastian Stan? Well, I, I really wanted to, to bring actors to those parts who wouldn't come with a lot of baggage. Uh, and I wanted to surround them with actors that we all know, like Tommy Lee Jones and Stanley Tucci and Toby Jones and Dominic Cooper and those guys. That, um, but um, I want Chris to be known uh, for this movie and Avengers and maybe a couple of others as Steve Rogers Captain America so he didn't he didn't bring a lot with him except his talent which is uh, formidable well you bring a formidable amount of talent to this as well your background in visual effects is incredible um, were there any particular movies that inspired you when thinking about the look of this film uh, well I used Raiders of the Lost Ark as a template for this film for a lot of reasons it's a uh, it's a great way to do period. It looks timeless even today. And uh, it's just fun from beginning to end. And I, I wanted this film to be the same way. I how, hope it is. How do you keep things fun on set? I mean, this is a huge franchise, which can be a lot of pressure. Fun on set? Uh, with a cast like this, it was pretty easy. But I, I like to create an atmosphere on the set where actors feel that they're free to try anything and have some fun and make fools of themselves if they have to, like I do. And uh, I think they recognized that early on, and uh, it was a very relaxed kind of a set. We had a, we just had a great time. Were there any particular details from the 1940s from the 1940s that excited you to bring into the film? Anything that really inspired you? Well, it is a heightened reality of of the 40s that we're portraying here. But um, the, the 30s and 40s are, are it's my favorite period of uh, I I love you know everything about it the the way uh, you know the the fashion and the cars and the architecture and it, it it seems to be like a time when people really cared what things looked like like everything had a had a design sense to it and we tried to capture that because this film takes place in the 40s uh, it's sort of set apart from the rest of the films in the Marvel Universe uh, there are many references to Thor and Iron Man and and Avengers but um, and there are links that the fans will recognize but uh, it's not so tightly connected to the to the other films that a the somewhat unfamiliar with those films would be confused you know it's a it's a the, the film sort of stands stands off by itself because of the period mostly well I'm sure this film will stand entirely on its own and I wish you luck and enjoyment tonight Thank I hope you have much. a wonderful time inside 
I'm going to do my best. You are watching Marvel live here on the red carpet at the world premiere of Captain America, the first Avenger. You can watch at marvel.com. If you want to follow what's going on, if you want to join in the conversation, you can also tweet using the hashtag CapLive. That's C-A-P-L-I-V-E. Oh, I hear some screaming going yeah, we've, on. We've got Natalie Dormer, I think, coming up, right? Yeah, Who's I think so. On the, in the on-deck circle. So she mm -hmm. played Private Lorraine, and she's going to join us right now. Hi. Hi, nice to meet you. I'm Don. Hi, Don. Natalie. Oh, have a seat now. Thank you. What was it like stepping into this world, into the Marvel Universe, essentially, and being part of that? Because, I mean, it's pretty vast. Oh, it's, it's huge. And uh, I'm a massive Marvel fan. And, um, you know, you, as you say, you know you're stepping into a big... A big family when you when you do so. Yeah. So I was just very grateful to be there, and uh, Joe Johnston was a fantastic director. He's, awesome. He's incredible, and he, with the visual image, you know, I'm really excited about tonight and to see once the effects are added, you know, because the 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 quality of the detail of the set design mm -hmm. was. Absolutely. And as a girl, yeah. the 40s is a fantastic era to dress up in. You yeah. know, the hair with the, the wave and the quiff and the red lipstick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, the, you know, Haley's really got it on, rocking it with that red lipstick <laughs> in this movie. Yeah, enjoy much. the movie. Guys. Yeah. Hello, everyone. I'm here with Derek Luke, who plays Gabe Jones. Tell me a little bit about your character in this movie. This movie was fun because we actually, I didn't get the script until we actually signed. So we were like kind of acting, I was acting kind of organically, but it was a lot of fun. Now how does someone like you get noticed for a role like this? I mean, was it something you campaigned for? Was it something that just kind of came up that you got an offer for? How did that work? It's an interesting uh, relationship. I go to my agent and I say, hey, this is what I'm thinking. Most of the times we're thinking the same thing, but I was like, listen, what is Marvel doing? The super, he says, oh man, you're really interested? I says, dude, you, do you understand that? They're making the, like the best movies, man. I, I love it. I want to be a superhero, man. <laughs> so being in this movie to me was like a childhood dream. You know, this was time that I really showed my identity. I used to take the towels, me and my brother, and fly around the living room and I think we were some somebody, Captain America, Superman. What's it like for just being in a blockbuster like this? It's almost like going shopping at Gucci all day. Um, we are here at Marvel.com. Okay, just check this out. Neil McDonough with Derek Luke. This is what happens when you have actors who are on a movie set and spend intense time together but then don't see each other for a while and suddenly they're reunited on the red carpet. It just goes to show what amazing spirit this movie has. Clearly, these actors are demonstrating that. Whoa! Come Everybody's on, in! There we go. There we go. Marvel action. Everyone's looking marvel -esque. My name is Kenny. So, hi, Neil McDougal. Really, yeah. just a Nathan, huge fan. Nathan, Nathan, Nathan McDougal. McDougal. Yeah, Nathan we, had, we had the best time. It's, you know, this is the Captain America show, so Chris was working day and night all the time, so it left us a lot of time to spend with each other and have a good old time and, and enjoy ourselves over in England and Wales and, and, and we all those places. Yeah, we did a lot of camaraderie. Lot of camaraderie. I mean, look at this place. I mean, this is incredible tonight. All the people came out for, for Captain America. So, what Joe Johnston did, you know, it was incredible. And, and you know, Kay and I would be on the middle of the night just blowing up tanks, blowing up buildings, having fun, having a good old. It was one of the. It was like an old school movie where everyone had a great, great time. And, uh, we're looking forward to Cap 2, so it's, uh, you know, the Howling Commandos, you're going to see a lot of us for a very long time. My performance wasn't very good. Kay's performance, however, was phenomenal. Well, Neil McDonough <laughs> was fantastic. He played Dum Dum Dugan, and he was terrific. I think he steals every scene. That's what he does in all the movies he's in. Yeah. He's just okay, fantastic. Speaking of, so speaking of this, um... <laughs> Two mics. Oh, really? Just how does it feel on this outing? Um, I'm not real sure. You know, it's kind of like this, this is the first time I've uh, entered into the past of a Marvel hero, and I'm sort of like the connector that brings him into the present time. So, um, it'll be interesting to watch the film to see where he comes from and how we actually bring him into this and what it all means to uh, the Avengers, which has been kind of fun to do right now. Anything you can tell us about the Avengers? It starts with an A. <laughs> It'll be out in May. Why do you think so many talented actors are drawn to these Marvel characters? I mean, comic book. I think we've all, we all, we all grew up with comic books. Um, we pretended to be those guys at some point in our childhoods. And do you run around with the cape? We had superpowers. 
Um, wouldn't have been fun to run around a cape in my neighborhood and get hurt. Uh, but, you know, we all wish we had superpowers, and it's an amazing uh, feeling to be able to inhabit the body of someone who supposedly has powers or who has a, uh, a relationship with these kind of people that you feel like you've had all your life. So, um, if they're like me, they just jump at the opportunity. All right. All right, thank you. We're here at Marvel Live Streaming, so you're talking directly to the fans. Introduce yourself, please. I'm Sebastian Stan, playing James Bucky Barnes. A little bit of an icon. How does it feel to be in a huge summer blockbuster like this? It's, uh, it's definitely a, a little overwhelming. I mean, obviously just being here like right now and looking at all the fans that I've gathered kind of reminds you a little bit of, you know, uh, of what the magnitude of this movie is. Um, it's been an incredible journey, you know, we've been a part of it for such a long time and, and uh, I, I think uh, we've, we've all, the cast has bonded so well and I think, you know, both Chris and I hope that ultimately the fans are going to be happy with, with the outcome of the film and, and the characters. Tell me a little bit about the relationship between you and Chris on set and what it's like, you know, what the two characters, how they click in the film. Well, you know, our relationship sort of represents the, the, the friendship and loyalty and, and sort of courage and, and the brotherhood uh, uh, storyline of the film. And um, it's important because I think in the comic books, you know, that those two have always been linked together. I mean, I guess I've been known to be like sort of a sidekick or, or a right-hand man, and this is a little bit of a different take. Speaking of, I heard Joe Johnston, uh, I, I read in an interview where he talked about the fact that you brought something a little darker to, to Bucky. So tell me about that. Well, I mean, they, Joe, Joe was very encouraging, and Joe and Marvel were very um, encouraging uh, in terms of, of, of taking the character towards a little bit of a different route. And, and I actually thought it was, it was more realistic, hopefully more relatable to, to today's audience, um, and especially, you know, how educated everybody is about war now. We are here live on the red carpet at Captain America. Mm -hmm. Here's Dom. Hi, guys. First Avenger premiere in Hollywood at the El Capitan Theater. Chris Evans, ladies and gentlemen. How you doing? <laughs> Clearly to see you across the street. What is it like being part of a huge blockbuster like this? Uh, it's, you know, it's exciting. It's an honor. There's, there's obviously a lot of people willing to, to, to pour some money out to make sure this movie works. And it's, uh, it's an honor to be a part of it. Now, one of the things about Captain America is that, you know, he originally was kind of this very straight-laced, noble character, but you make him incredibly entertaining and likable. What was your process like to do that so he wasn't just... Thank you. It's kind of like a blind throw with a gun. I just kind of kept shooting, and hopefully hopefully some of it worked, and I appreciate that compliment. I'll take it. <laughs> How did Joe Johnson help you through that on set? Joe Johnson's fantastic. I can't say enough about Joe. He's pretty articulate. He's a pretty smart guy. You know, we came to set every day, and... Uh, you know, I've made movies where you don't always get a conversation with the director, and, and Joe was Joe was fantastic. We we came to sit every day, and we we broke things down, and it, it just felt um, I don't know. You you go home and you actually felt like you had an opinion, which 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 is rare. And was there anything that you pulled from the comics that kind of helped you get into your role, or did you? I mean, there's so much mythology. We we, we, we I, I read dozens of comic books. You know, the fans are the most important part of this this puzzle. You know, if the fans aren't happy, we didn't do our job. Uh, so we went back and read a lot of comic books to make sure they were happy. Well, I think they're going to be very happy that they got to hear from you directly. Hello, Mr. Stark. All right. Hi. <laughs> Marvel. I feel like I can't answer that because I am I am Mr. Stark. Dude, I'm here. I was the first one. Did you actually talk with him at all about your work on this film or no? No, I didn't actually. And you know, it's only helpful to a certain extent. You can watch his wonderful, very easy, um, flowing performance, but ultimately this guy's Howard is from a different time and a different era. And what I loved is sort of trying to understand the complexities of their relationship, I suppose, and what they were. And because he is so f sort of full of himself and so charismatic and is such a ladies' man, this. Uh, that Howard, that you can probably understand it was quite difficult to be his son. Hello, I'm Hayley Atwell. Hi. Oh, Hi. Hayley Atwell. Hi. <laughs> can you just talk a little bit about your preparation and how you see the character? Yeah, well, uh, Peggy, she's an officer, so the, the whole point in it is that she was, you know, physically fit enough to do what she's doing and, you know, hold these machine guns convincingly. So we trained for, it was eight months, the duration of the filming and, and before that, just to get into shape. And then I think, you know, the, the look of her does the womanly side, ju you know, justice. And, and um, I love playing her. I think she's a kind of a modern woman and she's ahead of her time and she's strong. She can save him as much as he can, uh, he can save her. So, yeah. yeah, it was great fun. Thank you so much for your time. You're like, welcome. you've got a lot of people to talk to you. Okay. We really appreciate it, Thank though. You and you're awesome. Night. And you have a great night. This is your night. So enjoy it. Marvel.com. Fantastic.
Excellent. So, Thor, what's it like being here at another premiere for Marvel? It's good. Cool. I'm you know, trying to get back in the swing of it all. We've uh, had the Thor premiere a few months ago and now shooting Avengers, and which is going fantastic, and come down to support Chris. It's, it's great to be here, hearing a lot of really positive things. So I'm excited to see the film. One of the cool things about the Marvel Universe is the way they interconnect all of the stories. What's it like going from a movie like Thor, which is all about you, yep. to a movie like The Avengers, where you're part of a team? Uh, it's great, you know, you saw some of the pressures taken off, and for me, being able to work with, you know, these actors and learn from them has just been, been fantastic. And also, you know, people like Downey, who have done their version of, of this series a couple of times now, as sort of the, the godfather of all, in a sense, it's nice to sort of watch how he navigates his way through it. Robert Downey Jr. is right behind me, um, looking very dapper. Um, I gotta say, I gotta give it out for all the guys. Um, they're doing really, really well tonight. Everybody looks really top notch. Hello. Hi. Hi. Do you know who I am? Are you Kevin Feige? Yes. Yes. You got it right. <laughs> well, you know. We're, huh? This is Marvel.com. Are three cameras from Marvel.com? You're very special. No, not me. Marvel.com is very special. That's impressive. Well, you're one of the people who helps make it that way. Tell me a little bit. Well, okay. For those who may not be aware, tell people what you do at Marvel. Uh, I read comics and I make movies. And he does a very, very good job of them. Um, one question for you is, in putting together this complex world, yes. um, what's been the biggest challenge of you know the interconnectedness of all the films? Well, I'd say that the most important aspect of it that is somewhat challenging is making sure all the movies stand on their own. Because the fans watching Marvel.com, I hope, love this idea of interconnectivity. The comic fans have grown up with it their whole lives. I've grown up with it my whole life. The idea that in a comic you can turn a page and anybody can appear in anybody else's book. We want to ease moviegoers into it. And we don't want people to feel like they have to have a guide map to understand what's going on. So it's, it's putting things in there that fans can notice and appreciate, but also that big general audiences can learn as they go. Well, um, I want to say congratulations thank to you. Thank you very much. Enjoy night, and thanks for talking to the fans. You got it. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Right now, we are here live at the world premiere of Captain America, the first Avenger in Hollywood at the El Capitan Theater. The red and white carpet is behind me. Please come here, Mr. Danny Jr., the man who needs no introduction. Oh, but introduce me anyway. I'll come back. Okay, okay. We're going to do it again, right? I'm here on the red and white carpet with Robert Downey Jr., ladies and gentlemen. He's waving to the fans who are screaming for him right over there. So, um, I'd ask you what brings you out to this, but you are an icon now in the Marvel world. How does that feel? I don't, I don't know how it happened. I, I did my part. Uh, you know, it's so funny. We're on Hollywood Boulevard. I'm part of this whole superhero world. It's fantastic. I was talking with Chris Hemsworth before he plays Thor, and he basically said you're kind of like a godfather in some ways when it comes to this Marvel world. How's it? Sure. How's that feel? Uh, well, compared to them, I'm Pacino's age, so they're right. <laughs> How, now, you're filming The Avengers right now. Have you started? You're in production? Yeah, as a matter of fact, uh, I think I have four days left, so I've, I've, uh, I've uh, contributed significantly. Oh, yes. Well, you carry the load yourself in Iron Man 1 and 2, but you're part of a team in The Avengers. What's yeah. that process like? How does it feel differently? Well, I think it's kind of like the process of making the movie. You know, you, you want to make sure everybody has their moment to shine, and we work together as a unit. And also, you're spreading the workload, so it's, uh, it's uh, I forgot, it's easier. It's easier when you don't do it alone. Some more days off. Like sex. Well then, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying that just taking care of yourself isn't easy. All right, we want to say thank. Oh no, you should come out every night. <gasps> I drink too much coffee. I'll say anything. Go ahead. <laughs> we, if you were to give one last piece of advice to Chris Evans um, about how to survive this whole insanity surrounding the Marvel world, what would it be? Well, I, I think the main thing is just to draw on the energy of the people who are excited about these kinds of movies and, and give them what they want. It's a, it's a privilege to be able to do this kind of thing and um, it's supposed to be really fun, you know. Chris is a really smart guy and I've noticed that sometimes when you're really smart you tend to think, but it's part of what has made him so good in this role is uh, it's, it's not a two-dimensional uh, Captain America. Steve Rogers is a very accessible guy. And, and I really learned quite a bit working with him in uh, The Avengers. He's an incredibly, incredibly gifted actor. Okay. Well, we hope you enjoyed tonight. Thank you so much for coming to talk to the fans. I hope so. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, Robert Downey Jr. Thank you, sir. Welcome to Marvel.com. Wow. Please come so up. So awesome to meet you.
this Marvel.com? Yes, Marvel.com. We're streaming live. With the watch fans. Oh my God! Now I'm nervous. <laughs> you got nothing to be nervous about. You have a fantastic Twitter feed. You live Marvel in and out. How does it feel to be here tonight? It feels to be. It's just great being here. It's great having another great movie like Captain America. I can't wait to see it. Yes. <laughs> and what is it? What is your thoughts on um, Chris Evans overtaking the persona of Captain America? Yeah. I can't think of anybody better. He was great as the Human Torch. He'll be even greater as Captain America. He's a great actor, great guy, and I'm glad he got the role. And how does it feel for you, having seen something that starts as a, a small world in your head be realized in such a huge way on screen? Oh, no, it was a big world in my head, and now they've caught up with me, that's all. Yeah. <laughs> well, in those days, it wasn't the Marvel world. It was called Timely Comics, oh, really? when Captain America first started. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was, oh, gosh, in the 19, around 19... The late 1930s. Right? Wow. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, it's just incredible. And, and did you, uh, when you saw this whole world, did you, did you picture it, la you know, did you picture like 70 years of story? Did you picture this extended? Oh, like, never. Really, or never. Or, or no. were you just, it was like in your imagination. No, right? all I could think of was I hope I can dream up enough stories and the magazines would sell, mm -hmm. so I'll keep my job and pay my rent. Yes. I mean, to dream that one day I'd be on a red carpet and I'd be talking to people who are interviewing me this yes, way for yes. Marvel and cameras and crowds around, and never in a million years, it would have, I, I would have felt like a nut if I thought that. <laughs> Definitely not enough because there are tons of people here who believe in your world and your vision. That's so, great. congratulations! Thank, thank you, you for thank you, so thank you for being here. And yeah. thank you. Dude, thank you. I appreciate so much. what you said. Honestly, it nice. means so much to and me and everyone out there. To me. Thank you. I, okay. Oh my gosh! All right, good okay. luck. All thank right. you. Thank you. To all of you. Right. Thank you. Man, I'm a little lightheaded. I got to be honest with you. You want to serve your country? Just give me a chance. Are you ready? You will personally escort your enemy to the gates of hell. The women of America owe you their thanks. Impressive. You got no idea. Move out! Well, we want to say Marvel. thank you to you guys for watching and staying with us. Yeah, um, thank you so much. Please uh, go see the film. It opens on Friday the 22nd in theaters around the country. Yeah. And um, I think I might go jump on one of those Harleys right now. And Are you? <laughs> okay, well, uh, can I ride in the back at least? Absolutely. Okay, thanks. <laughs> All right, thank thanks you. everyone. I'm Tamar Krinsky. I'm Don Black. It's Marvel Live. And remember, Marvel, Marvel your, universe. your universe.